Don't fall for fake. Wait, there is something wrong with this offer. It's almost too good to be true. It could be a scam. What is a scam anyway? A scam is a dishonest attempt to make money by tricking people into sharing their login details, personal information, contacts, etc. With more and more online activity, internet fraud has become a common occurrence. Scams can be of different types. You need to be alert and act with caution. But how will you know if something is a scam? Number 1. Does this message look right? Sometimes fake apps that look a lot like real ones are advertised in website pop-ups or show up in App Store. Look out for spelling mistakes, user reviews, sloppy graphics. Number 2. Does the URL start with HTTPS? with a little green padlock to the left of it? If yes, that's good. It means the connection is secure. Number 3. Is it asking for your personal information? Some scammers ask for personal information so they can send you more scams. Most real businesses won't ask for personal information in a message or from anywhere except their own website. Number 4. Is this email or site offering you something for free? Free offers usually aren't free. Number 5. Is it a chain email or social post? Texts and posts that ask you to forward them to everyone you know can put you and others at risk. Don't do it unless you are sure of the source and sure that the message is safe to pass on. Number 6. Does it have fine print? At the bottom of most documents, you will find the fine print. This text is tiny and often contains the important information that they want you to miss. For example, a headline at the top might say, You have won a free phone. But in the fine print, you'll read that you actually have to pay the company rupees 5,000 per month. What to do if you do fall for a scam? Do not panic. Tell your family or adults whom you trust. You can also report to the authorities. The longer you wait, the worse things could get. If you do get tricked by a scam, let your friends and people in your contacts know right away. Because they could get that tricky message next. Report the message as spam if possible. Change your passwords for online accounts. Don't fall for fake. Be internet awesome!